He doesn't matter. Either way, man, you're good. Hey, you're a Philly guy, right? Yeah. <laughs> I assume you grew up, given your dad's history, an Eagles fan? Or? Oh, yeah, I am. Did you? Yeah, yeah. I am a Eagles fan, yeah. yeah. And you grew up, what, South Jersey area? Oh, uh, yeah, South Jersey. Yeah? Yeah. You know, the other linebacker down here uh, is a, he's a Philly area kid, right? Yeah, uh, Keith. Yeah, mm -hmm. Keith? Yeah. Do you guys talk about that much? Or have you oh, yeah, shared? yeah, yeah, we, yeah we, uh, we talk about it a little bit, you know, how just like being in the same area, kids from the same area, you know. Uh, school, we went to school, both went to school in Philly. Right. Uh, some, it's a way to connect for us, definitely. Uh, Pat Steaks or Geno's? Do you have a preference? Uh, <laughs> I really, shoot, Philly Steaks, you can't beat them. Like, a lot, like a lot of places have great Philly Steaks. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, does your dad get down here for games occasionally? Or? Oh, yeah, yeah. Whenever he can make them, he definitely tries to make them. Both, both my parents. Um, but, you know, when he can, he's like either at my brother's games, too. Right. So, mm -hmm. uh, how about, you must feel like you're at a point where this is kind of your time to shine a little bit. Uh, you know, I, I'm just trying to keep my head down and grind, you know, try to make the best of any opportunity I get. Uh, it's just a blessing, too, to have this opportunity. What kind of uh, lessons have you taken from, you know, the two big guys last year, Skalski and uh, Spectre? Being a student of the game, they were, they were both students of the game, always in the film room, always uh, trying to perfect their craft. They didn't think that they didn't have anything that they had to work on. They were always working, so I definitely learned that from them. I'm trying to incorporate that into my game, too. How about, how about the depth at linebacker on this team? you feel quite good about that? Or? Oh, yeah, I'm definitely feeling good about the depth. Uh, we got depth in linebackers, D-line, safeties. I feel like we have a really strong defense this year. Do you, do you talk to your dad on a regular basis? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. After every practice, we're watching film. He's, oh, really? Yeah, he's coaching me up, watching <laughs> film with me whenever I get back home, so, yeah. He still lives up there, right? Yeah, they yeah. Do, yeah still in yeah. Jersey. Does he, does he break down your efforts a lot? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, he definitely uh, breaks down the film, you know, tries to coach me up. Um, even if I make the tackle, there's always something I can work on. I, I learned that from him. He's always trying to coach me on that. Uh, but, so I just try to learn as much as I can. Were you always destined to be a linebacker, I'm guessing? <laughs> well, I've been a linebacker since I was in uh, middle school. So pretty much, yeah, he's been teaching me how to play linebacker since I was a little kid. Very good. Thank you, man. All right, thank you. Appreciate yeah, it. Good to see you. Man. Nice to meet you. Very good. Yeah, you have everything? Okay. What's it like playing uh, linebacker behind that talented defensive line? It's great. You know, they pretty much take up a lot of blocks for me, so I don't have to uh, work too hard to get to get all blocks, but uh, they're definitely very talented. And what do you, uh, what's the difference between your game, Levante's game, and Keith's game? Obviously, all you guys play inside, but what, uh, what do each of you guys bring to the table? Sure, we're all, you know, inside linebacker. We all can stop the run, all can play the pass. We all, group. I think we're all very, very versatile. Um, we can blitz when we need to, so we have all the two skill sets that you would want at linebacker, I feel like. What's it like uh, playing next to Trenton Simpson now that he's moved inside? Uh, you know, it's, it's definitely uh, something that, that's, like, different because usually he's outside. He was outside last year. I'm used to seeing him outside, but when he comes inside, you got another big body in there, six, like 6'3", six, 240. So, you know, you, you don't have to stress anything. You know he's going to hit somebody. And then this is probably the most athletic linebacker for Coach Sweeney's had it come soon. What's it like having you, Trent, and then now Barrett playing Sam, just all the athletes in, in one group? One group. Uh, I think it, it really fits today's game. Uh, we have the speed to take out any – to get anybody that has speed on the offense, outside game, RPOs, anything like that. We have the speed that we need there. And I feel like we also have like, the power that we need to stop the run inside. What's one thing you've learned, obviously, making that jump from freshman to sophomore year, playing linebacker at the collegiate level? Uh, definitely, you got to bring your A game every day because, you know, there's competition. And uh, you got to be a student of the game, try to learn as much as you can. You got to know, you can't just learn your position. You got to know the other linebacker's position. You got to know the safeties. You got to know the D-line. You got to know the corners. You got to know everybody. What position have you, have you been repping out of the most right now so far? Definitely, definitely the mic position. That, uh, that's where I've been repping a lot. Yeah, I mean, how comfortable do you feel like that? And, how do you feel like you know, just the campus is going so far, just repping there? I feel very comfortable at Mike. You know, it's just, I try to stay in my playbook and uh, try to learn, know all the linebacker positions. Every, I know try to learn all the positions, so I, I'm definitely very comfortable with that. You guys can have like, a, a different look at linebacker now with, I guess, you know, the past with Skowski and Inspector, and now you, some of the younger guys along with Levante and Keith. What can you kind of just kind of say about the room and how, how it's kind of come together since the spring up until now? Uh, yeah, it's definitely different. You know, uh, Skowski and uh, Baylor, they play be at, like very big, uh, heavy run stopper linebackers. Now, we, you know, people, our linebackers are a little bit lighter weight, but uh, still have the power. Uh, we got more, like, some speed, too, on the outside. 
Uh, but it's you know it's definitely has it hasn't changed too much because we all took from Skowski and Bale and they really set the tone on how we, how they uh, wanted the team to be left and we, I think uh, we got we got the team in good hands right now. I guess it's kind of been a while now that you're, you're kind of under coach Goodwin. I mean, what's he kind of just brought to that linebackers room and the defense? And what's it been like just getting to learn from him over these past couple of months now? Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely been great. Uh, Wes is a great defensive coordinator. Uh, he's smart. He knows what he's doing. Um, he uh, definitely made a defense that you know you can play fast in and you're, you can be very comfortable in. Yeah, um, I mean, how, how when, when you're wrapping up, like, who, who is kind of next to you at like Will and, and Sam right now? Uh, right now, you know, it's, it's a mix. It could either be uh, Vontae or it could be Trent. Uh, they have, Wes likes to rotate a lot. Uh, everybody, you know, he wants to get everybody some uh, some playing time. So it could, it could really be anybody, any linebacker. When you when you look at, at you and Barrett Carter and Trenton Simpson and some of these guys, fastest linebacker group in the in the country or, or could be? Uh, yeah, it definitely could be. I mean, we got some speed. Uh, Bears fast, Trent's fast. I got some speed on me too. But uh, yeah, I, we got a lot of speed on this, uh, in the linebacker group. Yeah. Have you guys adjusted to life under Wesley Goodman? Um, yeah, it's, it's been a pretty easy adjustment. I feel like you know Wes is a, a very uh, welcoming guy, easy to talk to, uh, great coordinator. His defense, is, I really love his defense. Didn't really change too much uh, from uh, last year. Pretty much kept all the same principles and everything, and I really like it. it seemed like uh, maybe the, the other day, maybe he's a little bit more vocal than he was in the spring. Are you seeing a little bit more of that? Uh, I feel like he, he was vocal in the spring too. Uh, he's he's always been that coach that you know when when you mess up, he's gonna let you know. Uh, he, he'll he'll raise his voice if you need to, if you need that little you know that little slap on the butt. But uh, I, I think he's been vocal both in the spring and in the fall now. Fonte was over there talking about his why heading into this year, why he, he wants to be great, why he does what he does. What's your why? Shoot, my, my why, I'm trying to, I'm just trying to, you know, prove myself, um, you know, coming out of high school. So a lot of people, I was kind of lowly recruited because uh, people thought I was undersized at linebacker. But, uh, you know, Clemson took a chance on me, and I'm just trying to prove myself as to why I belong uh, at linebacker. What else drives you? Uh, definitely um, just, my, just that, that dream of making it to the NFL. You know, I'm trying to be the best linebacker I can be. I'm trying to be somebody that leaves a mark. You know, I try to just prepare my craft, my craft every single day. When you go home with your dad, with your brother, is it football talk or do you guys kind of shy away from that? Uh, you know, we talk about football too. Uh, but you know, when I get home, he lets, does like to take that that uh, pressure off. You know, you know, just be a, be around family, have a good time with family, because you know, it can't be football, football, football all the time, every every like 24 hours a day. Uh, you got to give your mind a break sometimes. What do you feel like you've improved the most since your freshman year? Um, I'd probably say uh, my knowledge of the defense definitely. Uh, I feel myself playing a lot more, a lot faster because I know where I'm supposed to be. Um, you know, I know where the guys around me are supposed to, supposed to be. But I can definitely play a lot faster. Last year, it felt like I was kind of thinking a little bit too much because I didn't really understand the defense yet. You said you play a lot faster. Do you feel like the game's also yes, yeah, yeah, down yeah, too. slowing down for me. Yeah. What do you see out of these younger linebackers? Wade's drawing some reviews. Kobe, what do you see out of those guys? Shoot, yeah, those guys got some talent. Uh, they're definitely going to be impact players. Uh, you know, they, they, they're just getting in, in here, so they, they got to learn like the positions that a uh, coach wants them to learn. But they definitely got talent. You, that's very noticeable. When you look at your spot on the defense, how, how do you contribute the best? What do you think your strength is? Um, I definitely say uh, I, I bring some speed to the table, some speed, power, elusiveness to the table. Uh, when you want to mix it up, uh, you know you can blitz me if you want to. If you need somebody that can drop, needs a drop in the cover on a third on third downs, I can do that. I won't be a, a hindrance in that area of the game. Coach, when he was saying that you know he never pays attention, you guys don't pay attention to preseason awards, rankings, anything like that. But there's a lot of talk out there. Clemson has slipped. The defense won't be as good. Clemson's not going to be as good. You guys hear that though? Uh, I mean, right now, you know, you may see it if it pops up on your phone or something like that. Uh, but we, we try not to focus on that. We got to worry about the now. We got to worry about practicing and working on ourselves. And I feel like everything else will fall into place. We'll look back on the season and when it's all said and done and uh, see how it, how it went. Looking forward to that opener in the Mercedes Benz Dome, Georgia Tech, yeah. national TV. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to it. I know the stadium is going to be rocking. Thanks, man. All right, thank you.